everyone, it's Kimberly Martin from Jera Publishing again, and today I'm going to be talking about the key differences between CreateSpace and Ingram Spark. First, what do they both have in common? Uh, both of them are print-on-demand book printers that can both print and distribute your book. Um, by using them, your book can get listed in places such as Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, Books A Million, and other online retailers. Um, CreateSpace is owned by Amazon, and Ingram Spark is owned by the Ingram Book Group, which is one of the largest book wholesalers. Both allow you to create an account online and to easily upload and manage your book titles. So let's see, how are they different? Uh, first, let's take a look at fees. Ingram Spark is going to charge you $49 to get a title set up in their system. CreateSpace doesn't have any title setup fees. Ingram Spark will also charge you $12 every year to keep a book in their distribution channels. CreateSpace does not charge this. Um, and also, if you're using Ingram Spark and you need to upload a revised copy, maybe you found some errors in your book and you need to correct them and upload a new file, um, Ingram Spark is going to charge you $25 for every file you need to upload. CreateSpace does not charge you a resubmission fee if you need to correct um, a file that you have uploaded. So in those things, with fees, CreateSpace definitely comes out ahead. Um, a lot of the upfront fees with CreateSpace, um, there are none. With Ingram Spark, you will have some. So let's look at the printing charges. How much do they charge to print books? Again, CreateSpace can come out ahead here. Um, for example, a 300-page, 6 by 9 paperback book printed at CreateSpace is going to cost you $4.45 per book. At Ingram Spark, that same book would cost you $5.35. Um, now, Ingram Spark does charge um, or have like a um, discounts if you are order a large volume of books. For instance, if you want to you know, print off 500 copies of books and have them shipped to yourself, they do have a discount, but just their print per book charge is going to be more. So let's look at what they both offer. Now, CreateSpace and Ingram Spark both offer paperback books. But Ingram Spark also offers hardcovers with dust jackets, case wraps, and saddle stitched books. But CreateSpace only offers paperbacks. So both CreateSpace and Ingram Spark also offer full color printing. So if you say have a children's illustrated book or a book with photos that you want to be in color, both of them can print in color for you. Now, um, Ingram Spark does offer three different types of color printing. They have standard, standard 70, and premium, where CreateSpace only has their premium color option. Now, if you want that premium color, um, CreateSpace again comes out less to print a book in that premium color. However, Ingram Spark's other color options are a lot less. Um, their standard color selections are great for things such as maybe you have a business book with colored graphs or um, some tables or some, some basic color there. It does great for that, um, but if you're looking for that high glossy photo quality of color, you will need to use the premium. So let's take a look at wholesale discounts next. And I do um, talk about wholesale discounts in one of my other videos. You might want to check that out. So Ingram Spark just has their standard normal distribution that they offer everybody. And that will distribute your book to a wide distribution network. Such It'll get your book on Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, BooksAmillion.com, and many other online book retailers. So now CreateSpace has two levels of distribution. They're standard and they're expanded. Now Ingram Spark lets you set a wholesale discount as low as 30%. And using that 30% wholesale discount, you'll still get that wide distribution network. With CreateSpace, they do have a wide distribution network through their expanded distribution option, but they're going to charge you a 60% wholesale discount on that. So, so how does that break down to how much money you can make on the book when it sells? So let's take that same sample we use of a 300-page, 6x9 black and white book. If you sold it on CreateSpace for $14.99 and did their expanded distribution, you would make $1.55 for every book sold. If you sold it on Ingram Spark and used their normal distribution and set the wholesale discount at 30%, you would make $5.14 per book sold. So even though, though Ingram Spark's cost per book to print is higher, because of that wholesale discount difference, if you want that expanded distribution, you're going to pay a lot more 
through uh, create space and you won't make as much on the books that are sold. Now create space also has a standard distribution that is they only required you to set a 40% wholesale discount. So in that same scenario, a 300 page six by nine book, if you set it a use standard distribution and set it at the 40% wholesale discount, you'd make $4.55 per book. That's a much better result, but that only gets your book listed for sale on Amazon. You don't reach that wider distribution. So that's something to consider. Another thing to look at is ISBNs. And I do talk about ISBNs in another video as well. If you use Ingram Spark, you are required to use your own ISBN that you have purchased. And that can range from 125 for a single ISBN up to 295 for 10 ISBNs. So it's a big fee if you're on a tight budget. Um, if you use CreateSpace though, they do have the option to let them assign one of their own ISBNs to your book at no charge. Technically that does make them the publisher of the book. And I do always recommend that you get your own ISBN for your book if you're able to. But if you're really on a tight budget, that is a good savings there. It's a good deal. Now, so which one is right for you? Now, if, if you're using Ingram Spark, you know, um, you do get that wide distribution. So if that is important to you, then you will want to look at Ingram Spark. Um, however, uh, and also if you want like a hardcover book, you can't do that at CreateSpace. But if you're on a tight budget and you know, you're trying to save some of those upfront fees and you're fine with only having your book being available on Amazon and not elsewhere, then you may want to uh, look at CreateSpace. Now, back, some people use both CreateSpace and Ingram Spark, and there is a trick to do that and reasons to do it. And I'm going to get into that scenario a little bit more detail in another video. So something to think about uh, consider what is right for your book to make a decision. And as always, to see how Jera Publishing can help bring your book to life, visit us online at jarapublishing.com or give us a call at 770-642-6400. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more videos on self-publishing. Thank you.